What are you saying people, TWP back with a bang. Here we are to bring you guys another video today. So yesterday we had the mighty Nvidia earnings after hours, the one we've all been waiting for, the AI juggernaut. And to be honest, it was a dud. So Nvidia didn't really move that much. It moved down a little bit, but it sold off a bit more today. Overall, it just wasn't really the move we expected. A lot of options got clapped. Luckily, I didn't trade the Nvidia earnings, so I was pretty good there. But we'll talk about that in a minute. First thing I want to say is drop a thumbs up, show some support, it's always appreciated. Comment, share and also subscribe if you're new around here. So, they've reported earnings yesterday. They beat on revenue, they beat on earnings per share, guidance was pretty good, but they didn't really wow the market. I mean, they were really under the microscope yesterday and I don't think they did anything wrong. To be honest, they didn't do anything wrong. But when you're an AI juggernaut, when you've been up, what, 600% in the past two years, up I don't even know how much percent in the past 10 years, probably like 50,000% in the past 10 years because it was under a dollar 10 years ago. You're expected to do great things. And when you're the leader of the AI market, well, again, you know, you can't, you can't come into earnings and not do anything spectacular. Now, as I said in the last video, they've had a lot of expectations in the last couple of earnings and they've exceeded expectations. Now we got to the point where it was just a little bit too much for them. You know, there, there was high expectations, but they couldn't tell us anything we didn't already know. So let's look at the NVIDIA chart. Let's talk about NVIDIA a little bit more and then get into some of the other stocks I'm watching for tomorrow and going into next week. And of course, some of the plays we've traded today and yesterday, the rest of the week. So NVIDIA, I mean, there you go. You're sort of 6% today. The actual earnings itself, we went from around 117 to about up to 123 and then back down to like 120 at open, something like that. But if you look at the daily chart, you can see the little gap down, not really gap down, but the, the big sell off right after earnings, of course. Now the problem is we've heard so much about AI this year. They have a huge share of their GPU market and it's still a, a pretty big leader. Well, the main leader overall in the AI market. Now do remember that the market likes to factor things in advance. So that may be what had happened here. We had a little run up last couple of weeks and then last day before earnings and today we sold off. So the 15 minute chart shows this a little bit better. Here we go. Yesterday we were at 128 to start the day, sold off a little bit after hours, sold off more, open around 122, and then sold off 6% the rest of the day. So the reason being is what I said earlier, they haven't really wowed us, they haven't really done anything crazy. They didn't do anything wrong, but they didn't bring anything to make us say, oh yeah, we definitely need to trade, or we definitely need to buy Nvidia. So investors weren't, not that they weren't liking it, but they weren't giving it no real indication as to why Nvidia is a buy or why we should be extremely excited right now. So as you can see, it sold off yesterday and then pre-market kind of pushed up a little bit, but then continued selling off throughout the day. I mean, if you pull up the daily chart, you can see that not that it gapped down, but it did sell off quite a lot in a short period of time. It's starting to trend below the moving averages again, but I still like Nvidia long-term. I mean, if the Nasdaq is gonna rise, Nvidia is gonna be part of that. So yeah, that was Nvidia. They didn't do anything special, but they didn't they didn't do anything wrong. Really, they didn't they really didn't do anything wrong. And you know, like I said, the market likes to price in and factor these things in advance. So it, yeah, if you look at Nvidia, it's still it's still holding pretty strong to be honest. It's not going to go back down to 90 anytime soon, in my opinion. And just looking at the 15 minute chart, you can see yesterday sold off, started to recover a little bit, and then after hours just continued selling off. There you go. Again, it's still the leader in the AI market. Still got a huge share of their GPU market. They're doing what they need to do. So with SMCI, we also traded a kind of continuation. Reason being, SMCI was down, I think like $50 pre-market yesterday, $40, $50 pre-market. And then what did we do? We were like, okay, well, it's looking like it could be put territory, like it's gonna tank. So what did it do? Within a few minutes of open, all it did was sell off straight down from 530 all the way to lows of 396 before recovering. You have to remember SMCI, is one of those, I won't say a meme stock, but one of those stocks where when it does move, it moves crazy. A lot of retail traders have traded SMCI this year. Very bearish right now. Below all the moving averages, pushing up to the nine moving average, but probably going to get rejected and sell off again. Looking at the daily chart, it is very bearish. Continuing to sell off. And I think it's still got room to drop down to $400 again, which is a $50 drop. If it happens tomorrow and you get in on those puts, you will probably make some crazy money. Obviously, if it does go your way, quick enough. But like I said, SMCI is one of those stocks which, when it goes your way, it really brings you back crazy returns, as you guys saw yesterday in the Discord. So what did we do with this? How did we execute on this? Like I said, sometimes you just got to get in the trade. And this is one of those where we're talking about it pre-market. We've talked about it three days in a row. 
puts, 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 puts. After a while, you just got to get in the puts, you know? I'm not saying you should FOMO, but sometimes you just need to get in the trade and instead of everyone talking about it and you watching, be one of the people who's in the trade so everyone else can talk about it. Now, Qualcomm, ticker symbol QCOM. Another stock we traded puts on today. Another um, chip maker in the AI space. Now, what I like about Qualcomm is that it was just steadily downtrending, trying to break above the moving averages but getting rejected. Price was showing us it was bearish. Now, at one point, I called out the puts in the Discord. I said, this is a very nice put play. Before you know it, within 20, 25 minutes, it just sold off heavily. From highs of, what, 173, all the way down to 168. In like 25 minutes, see those back-to-back -back red candles? Four, five-minute red candles in a row. Four-hour chart, it's consolidating, which is fine. So you don't want to, you probably don't want to swing that. Long-term, we're probably looking back to get back up to 188 or $200 or 210 or higher. Again, a great stock overall, long-term, great potential. But right now, I just needed my money from the puts today. So we were able to make 170% returns within about 15 to 20 minutes. We caught it right before the drop. On the other hand, we traded Marvell, ticker symbol MRVL. We traded this one to the upside. We traded the calls on it. I caught it out right before market closed yesterday, and I'm still in this right now. Look at the monthly chart. It is up just over 6%, trading above the moving averages. If I pick up the daily chart for you, you'll see why I like this stock. Right now, it's holding above the moving averages. It's showing us it wants to push higher. And right now, it is pushing higher after hours because they announced a good earnings. I did also mention this in my weekly watch list on uh, my channel in the Discord. So if you're not in the Discord, come check, in, check out the Discord and tap in. But this is a company with great potential long term. We can get back up to the $93 level, push on higher. Also remember that they're doing really well in regards to networking and computing. So it's a positive chart. They've got good news, great expectations, long term. Don't be surprised if we see that $93 level reached. Again, they just reported earnings. Earnings went well. So we're seeing all the right signs. We're seeing a lot of positive stuff with MRVL, and I like it right now. Those calls, the $72 calls are going to open up in the money tomorrow. So congrats for those of you who hold. And Exxon. Exxon. Reason being, we're trading in between this channel, right? And we're trading a few nice patterns with Exxon. I do like it right now. I do think it's a stock that you can trade pretty easily. If you pull up the one hour chart for Exxon, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's one of those charts where you can... You can trade it, you can day trade it, you can swing trade it, but we've got our levels drawn out. 117 is where we are right now. 119 is where we could go to. 113 is also where we could go to. But right now, if I look at it, I'm thinking, hey, last week we pushed up three days in a row. This week we sold down, sold off like two, two days in a row. Now we're pushing up a little bit more. So I'm expecting more bullish momentum going into tomorrow. Push us up to that 119.40 level and then maybe back down again. Once again, none of this is financial advice. X1 is going to do what it wants to do. But we've traded it about two, three times in the past week. And it's one that we trade a lot in the Discord. On the hourly chart, it's trading above all the moving averages, which I like. So right now, I would say, yeah, it's looking more bullish than bearish. Next up, Google. And I'm going to bring up Google and a couple others. So Google sold off after its last earnings. Sold off heavily, even though earnings was not bad. Amazon, another one. Uh, pushed up right after its earnings last month. Reason being, some of these stocks, they are going to push up of uh, regular earnings. Some of them are going to sell off after regular earnings. Meta. Meta's got a nice chart as well. But right now we're trading in between the moving averages, which means we could break down. We could also fly from here. I'm expecting us to sell off a little bit first, fall down a little bit before I see any other price action. But of course, you just got to trade whatever comes in front of you. Look at the four hour chart for Meta. It's more bearish than bullish. It's leaning bearish, right? We could sell off towards the moving averages around 512. If not, if you break below that, then to 504. But otherwise, like I said, on the hourly chart, you can see that this is pretty bearish. Last few days have been bearish. Last couple of weeks have been bearish for Meta. And once again, I think this could sell off a little bit more. And lastly, I want to talk about AMD because AMD is a stock which is around $140 right now. AMD is more expensive than NVIDIA, but AMD is actually way further behind than NVIDIA in regards to progress. You've got to remember that NVIDIA also did a stock split. So think of NVIDIA as like a stock which is like worth $950, where AMD is like $140. AMD is still lagging behind a little bit. So if, if you like long-term shares, if you, well, you should be liking long-term shares if you're an investor. But if you would like something which is at a discount, I'd definitely start looking at AMD. Starts like AMD. I also mentioned Qualcomm and Marvell as well. But when the Nasdaq does start running, when tech does start booming again, those are stocks which I'm, I think are going to be starting to make more progress than NVIDIA is making. 
Of course, NVIDIA is the AI leader right now in its market. But of course, do you don't want to neglect the QCOMs, the AMDs, those kind of stocks. And if you want to talk about more stuff like that and do that with us, come check out the Discord. That's the first thing in the description. That's the Royal Trading Academy. Shout out to all of you guys who have been helping recently in Discord. Those of you who are newer traders, those of you who are experienced but are new to Discord, it really helps. You help me hit Palo Alto, I appreciate you. You help me hit any kind of stock, I appreciate you. The aim is to eat together and work together. So again, if you're not in the Discord, come check it out. We do the stock breakdowns there. We do live trading, after hours, charting sessions. We do all sorts of stuff. We have fun in there. We make some money. That's the most important. We make some money, we learn. Second description, Stock Options Starter Pack. That's a group of 10 videos. You have access to those videos for life. It's a one-time fee and you have access to those videos for life. It also gives you two months access to the Discord. So again, check out the Stock Options Starter Pack. And of course, follow me on all socials at The Wealth Prince. You guys know where I'm at. You guys know I'm active there, posting content daily. So follow me on all the socials. Again, drop a thumbs up. Show some support by commenting or sharing. And if you're new around here, subscribe. But that's it from me. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to be making, you're going to be making. See you guys next time for another video. Peace.